Um, this poem came after I was affected by an exhibition that I saw of photographs of Syrian refugees on the move, a lot of them children and young girls. And I imagined how one sister having reached sanctuary might fear for her sister who would be following. Um, I have a younger sister myself and we both understand what it must be like to be uprooted because we've moved a lot in our own lives. The poem is called Before and After. Most days, my sister can run for an hour. Like an animal, she knows how to hide. She watches what goes on in the valley below, people passing in vehicles or watching screens silently at the base of the mountain, those Lucifer stars. She's gone somewhere high, far from those who decide who is unacceptable, far from what is unacceptable. I can imagine her singing that no one wants death today, that no one is going to die, especially because this is the lightest of borders and her feet feel safe. Want an apple? A free ticket? Offering nonchalance, then accepting a coffee with her mouth open on the third roof of this third week, perhaps her luck turning into no one refusing to let her stay. And the bicycle she is riding is not hers, but yes, hers is the spirit through counties of irregular shapes and erratic lawlessness. Get past the black nights. You'll find open doors, I wrote in my letter. She'll be wondering what's next. Only we'll know, involuntary noise, what went before.